wako sana karibu karibu welcome yeah this is science tv this is politics today you are watching politics today my name is jonas simba i'm with elizabeth michael yeah nak kenya um nicolas soyo um kenya secretary general let me insist on that word so that i don't call you chairman i don't know why i keep calling you chairman of free free <laughs> I don't know. Mbona ma SG you shine so much. You know, uh, secretary general. We have a lot of work to do and a lot of writing. So unaona vitu zetu kila mara. Eh, okay. Yeah. And our sign language interpreter is Anne Njoki. Now, Nicholas, uh, SG, let me come back to you. Um just before we went for the break. Kuna hii maneno ya askari. Uh kindly. Uh hii askari ebu tell us something. Just uh, in a nutshell imefika wapi yeah where it has reached we are still waiting to hear uh, because there's uh, investigations <coughs> opened unfortunately right. this country kuna mtu alisema that hii country tunakuanga kama ngiri eh, ngiri ni ile mnyama anakimbizwa na simba anasahau anaenda kukula na simba ako nyuma so it looks like we have even forgotten about some of these things uh, I, i hope the media follows up on what's happening in the sugar yeah. because the last time we had it was uh, investigations had been opened and the sugar was a poisonous sugar that had been released in the, into the market through some uh, dubious means uh, so that now uh, they has, they've been following up on what where this sugar has gone to and who has been culpable a people a number of people were arrested but then now we don't know where this thing has gone into okay uh, this country we really need to so ensure. literally guys are consuming poison now Yeah if you if you look at it that, that way yes somebody must be consuming some poisonous things uh it can bring you cancers you can end up uh, having uh, some things that you didn't expect uh, so it's very unfortunate that that can be happening in this country in this day and age scary mm-hmm. situation eh? yeah, yeah yeah it is yeah, Jonah, yeah. because eh, as much as kenyans out here me included right uh, blindly we are saying um hatujali because the side effects of that sugar we are not seeing but the carcinogenic effect of it is going to come way later in life you find that you're in your 40s you're in your 50s and you already have an unknown strange cancer you know that is untreatable why because maybe you ate sugar that is full of lead full of mercury full of any other metals that are dangerous to the to the to the to the to, to human beings right. but now the issue is also Kenyans we take things for granted Mm. and uh, we don't take them seriously <coughs> because we are not seeing the effect there and then and tunapuza tu maneno but i wish we could take things serious follow these things up uh, so that such things don't happen don't happen yeah. right talking things serious there are people who are taking things seriously uh, cs na susan na humicha mm-hmm. it's taking she's taking things seriously nicolas nicolas yeah yes um, uh, so far uh, how serious I think that uh, uh, her ministry yes John uh, the ministry of health has been a ministry riddled with corruption throughout uh, and even this time it has not been different yeah. uh, it started with the kemsa issue uh, this was the first uh, really the first uh, scandal for this government immediately they came in something started and then now we have the NH- NHIF issues uh, elderly people have been uh, taken to some places where their money's are being taken away from them using some means where somebody just uh, to, takes away to finds a way to take money from their from their from their phones and what have you uh, i think in Meru and Nairobi uh, so she has uh, suspended a number of people in the ministry in the NHIF right uh, she has uh, made sure that the board gives a report uh, we expect that that uh, gas to continues yes and whoever is behind this should really be uncovered and taken to uh, face uh, the, the 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 things that they must face because the the reality of the fact is that uh, when corruption happens and you act on it you are showing the others not to continue trying to think these things but you know what corruption does is that uh, if it goes through somebody finds a way of uh, creating something around the way you do things uh, mm-hmm. the rules the the, the 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 exceptions those kind of stuff and yeah, then yeah. takes away with money so this is very unfortunate it is affecting elderly people uh, 
which is really not uh, the, the best thing to see. So what's the, okay, if you could uh, explain that detail there, how, how specifically the elderly? Uh, the, the issue is about their cover, which they're supposed to be, uh, there's a payment that they're being made to pay from, from their own funds. Right. Uh, using some, uh, I don't know, it's a log, a log, a log, a log, a log <laughs> of some sort. Eh? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 A log right. of some sort. Yeah, eh? Yes. So, so they're basically being told that they're going to be helped in their situation. And then somebody just basically engages them and tells them to pay something small. And then now the help disappears. And this is being done very quickly in a number of uh, elderly people in Meru and Nairobi, I think. Uh, some hospitals in Meru and Nairobi. So wow. those, uh, wow. that kind of a thing, uh, it's very unfortunate that this is uh, going on in this country. Mm. I really hope that it's not also happening in other sectors because it might be that it is even bigger than that. All right, all yeah. right. Wow, um, Susan doing the correct thing. Who else is doing the right thing? Uh, how is our sports, Elizabeth? I'm seeing Safari Rally around us here. Um, uh, we we need to bring out some of these people who are doing the right thing. I remember uh, you, sp you, you you put me on spot the other time, Nicholas, and you told me somebody was doing the right thing in Laikipia, and we need to bring these people out so that we encourage other leaders to do the right. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we basically <laughs> said one uh, Gedoni Wamushomba has done the right thing. Yes, for Kenyans and a number of MPs from the other side. Yes. The only difference with the, with the number of MPs from the other side yes. uh, is that uh, in this country they follow rules and, right. and, and they follow the masters. Yes. So yes. most of them in the side of, uh, of, of Azimio may have followed their masters. Some went against their masters, but then went against the people. So, so we are not looking at them. Uh, but some again uh, followed their master and followed the people's uh, interest, so we, we we thank them for that. Yeah, yeah. But then That's Gadoni took a very brave, a very brave uh, decision yes. to be one of the people who stands on her own and says that it is the people of Gidunguri who have voted for me. Yeah. Yeah. It is the people of Gidunguri who I'm taking uh, their instructions. Yes. And they've told me that this bill is punitive, that this bill is bad, that it is scandalous remembering the words that she said so really it's, 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 it's uh, we thank her for that uh, and of course uh, we want to say something about the cs uh, sports uh, uh, i think uh, babu namwamba is trying right uh, <coughs> the only thing that we must make sure is that we keep this up uh, because uh, we are seeing uh, at least our team is playing around the stars is doing some things here and there unfortunately yeah. we are not in the afcon uh, qualifiers this time uh, because we got late uh, when we were banned by FIFA earlier. Uh, right. But then let's hope that uh, the next time you're going to get uh, these things right. We have, uh, we have been engaged with other teams now playing friendlies to prepare ourselves. Yeah, it's good yeah. to prepare early. So I hope that that is what is going to continue. Yeah, and uh, are uh, you we comfortable can't with the teams we are playing with? We are fine. We're uh, fine. It's yeah. very unfortunate that yeah, uh, yeah. we played. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think we should have played cricket with, with Pakistan. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We should have played no, cricket in no, Pakistan. Don't, 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 don't <laughs> underestimate Pakistan. Uh, they love cricket. Okay, and they're also good in yeah. cricket. We should have played cricket with them. <laughs> if you want football, surely even Uganda and Tanzania, they're doing very well. And even Rwanda, they're doing very well in Africa here. We should have uh, looked for those. Yeah, some, <laughs> some Pakistani football fans may be watching you and, you know, they, they no, may no, be telling you don't judge us by the cover, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but definitely we mm. seem to be on the right track. I, I saw the World Rally Championships. Yes, the female uh, drivers, the female drivers, fully sponsored. You know, this is backed by uh, Ababu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I, I think uh, we, we, World Rally <coughs> Champion has come back. Right. In full force. Uh, it had been, uh, it's been, it's been in haters for a long time. I think the last two years now we've, we've had the editions. And Kenyans are supporting. Uh, I'm really hoping to look at. Uh, there used to be time when uh, the nostalgic times when you used to open the newspaper and it was the rallies flying on the yeah. uh, on the on the pages of, uh, of of newspapers. But however, uh, there is a way that things are, are happening differently. We are seeing these things on Twitter. Even accidents, we are seeing them very clearly. 
right. and uh, there is uh, the, the dash cameras that are make, gi- giving us that uh, how the driving skills are there and everything right so it's amazing that uh, that is happening in this country uh, thank you for for this country having pursued this matter because yeah. uh, world rally champion the, the, the rallying in Kenya is the best in the world. And so if it's not yeah, part yeah. of the World Rally Championship, yeah, yeah. really, mm. uh, yeah. And, and the female lose some drivers. Some. And the fem- let, me, let me speak to a lady. Yeah. And, and the, the female, female drivers. drivers. <laughs> now, somebody shed his tears. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did you see that? Oh, I missed that one. On our TV governor. Yeah. Come on. Our <laughs> governor shed uh, his tears. Yes, the governor. About Sakaja. Food. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, one big, Johnson one Sakaja. big success here we are seeing. Johnson Sakaja is a passionate yeah. person. Yes. Uh, I have known him before he became governor, even before he became senator. Right. Uh, what he does is passionate about. Yeah. Uh, the thing that I like about him is that when he believes that he wants to do something, he will go for it. Yes. I, I really hope that uh, that gusto continues. Uh, feeding the children is very important. Yeah. And, uh, I, mean, I, I had it, the it issues. It gave us the impression this thing is actually on the inside of him. You, you know you know there is uh, schools in this in this country that are basically in Nairobi that right. are basically not even covered there are schools that are primary the schools that are national the school private but then the school called uh, uh, something that are not really covered sometimes that school is basically uh, it happens to be church sometimes yeah. it is something else sometimes it is a dance and, or what have you. and many times they hold the name academy yeah, yeah, yet, they, yet they, they have they, some. They don't some. fall in government. They it's don't fall in something. Private. It's called up and something. I right. get the name. Mm-hmm. But but then those schools, eh? Uh, schools where people are going to school. So the governor said that these people are also equal to the ones who are in private schools and public schools, and he wants to make sure that they are getting the same uh, kind of quality education. Right. So for him, what he can do is, uh, and you you are saying this on the basis that actually the county government is not supposed to be in charge of education yeah so he has really taken uh, some fight on that because it means that he wants to make sure his people are taken care of Mm. even if it means that there is a way in the constitution that you can uh, cross uh, we deal with the question of uh, of cross uh, functions and so and so i I, i'm happy that uh, he invited the president on this Mm. because it means that they are working as a national government and the county government yeah and the president said a shilling to a shilling yeah, and I hope that nobody yeah. will bring those fights that they were he's being uh, he's, he was facing yeah. because somebody was saying this is not a function of the county government. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, but it, but it's, yeah, it's very been. unfortunate when you talk like that because it's like the parable where Jesus was saying that if your donkey happens to be in a well, do you leave it there until uh, <laughs> the yeah. flower ends? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So it's the same issue. Uh, really, I think uh, we want to thank uh, him for having taken the bravery. And yeah. he's, he's even said that if that means that he suffers in elections, yeah. well and good. So I think uh, that we need to thank him for that. Mm. Yeah, Liz, yes. did we have to wait this long for somebody to feed our children? Really? This must have, it should have been done. It's long overdue. Somebody should have done it in the uh, long time ago. Well, Jonah, I think uh, in my perspective, <coughs> having, I, I, I think yesterday I watched the governor on, on TV right uh just like he has said being passionate about what he's doing and he cautioned a lot of things so when you when you've just asked about um the the feeding uh regime that is 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 uh, happening now this is something that used to happen long Mm -hmm. time ago during and president moe's time but that was just milk that was just milk but then but then again Uh, remember that we still have feeding programs in schools, of which also not everybody affords it. But now here is where the governor is coming and equalizing each and every person, and I I support that because now we are going we are we are looking at the SDG that looks at uh, hunger free. Nobody is supposed to be to go to go to go hungry. Yeah. So when this is um this is looked at and dealt with. Right, Jonah. It is a very positive thing, and uh, whoever is saying that it is wrong and not done by by, it's not right. supposed to be done by the county government. Right. I want to tell that person they should look at it from somebody who said, "Leave the world better than you found it." It right. is not a must that when you find a banana peel here, that kwa sababu mtu akanjoni ya nafafuifagia unaiwacha apo. No, be responsible. Just pick the banana peel and put it 
where it's supposed to be put in the organic dustbin part okay so yeah. because and i suspect whoever is saying this is because they you know the corruption in kenya and they want now to come in as cartel yeah, to get the tenders yeah. maybe to supply food you know everything yeah, yeah, i have but, to but, look but, at it but with, please, um, with uh, suspicion yeah. when, when, why would someone judge a good thing that is happening yeah the good thing here is so far companies mm-hmm. now are coming out mm-hmm. the private sector they yeah. want to be part and parcel when is this kicking off it's kicking off on 28th of august yes. i think the first day of, yeah, of yeah, the yeah. third term yeah, yeah. and uh, so many people mm-hmm. are, are, are offering this and offering that and the question begs it like people are waiting it's like we've Jonah, not had Jonah, someone Jonah, to organize Jonah, Jonah, the it's question the question that I, I i i believe yeah. in this country is that uh, people need to come out like uh, uh, the governor and we need to thank him for having shown us that uh, there are Kenyans yeah. who are willing to support mm-hmm. right uh, the problem with Kenya is always the fear of even government itself because people always feel that ukipatia serikali ni kupoteza unapoteza that kind of stuff but when you do a good thing you see people will come out Kenyans are ready to come out Jonah yes and uh, we have seen this uh, numerous times before uh, when we had problems with the questions of chakula uko northeastern Kenyans came out, Kenyans yeah. for Kenyans. Yeah. Mm. So, so really Kenyans are ready to support and uh, we hope that uh, the, gov- the governor will continue with this uh, kind of things, mm-hmm. uh, even other sectors that are affected, especially for that one, he yeah. has done a very good job. Mm-hmm. And I really hope that uh, there's going to be an engagement that is going to make sure that the critics that he's facing yeah. are not going to spoil this uh, this uh, this good thing. Yeah, and it's amazing. There's a there's an ICT aspect to it. There's something digital with the children will be putting on their hands. I think. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's five uh, bob. Uh, you, you can load money on it. Yeah, he's trying to uh, to to see how to ensure that people can also support. Uh, in that way right uh, i i feel that that's a good way to go uh, whereby if i'm a child and you send five shillings at least in my account now i have these five shillings mm. yeah we'll make sure that at least i have something to eat yeah. wow. somebody sends so mm. it means that uh, as long as they can identify how much it costs for a child yeah. you can say that i'm feeding five children jonah mm-hmm. and then you send that to those five children mm-hmm. yeah but yeah that's and, a and, and, and jonah mm. i want to give accolades to the governor Okay. Because uh, with this drive and uh, with my accolades, I want to tell him this: as it is Nawatu, because of what he's doing and that he, that it will affect him in 2027, to go behind him vibaya sana. Wow. Okay, wow. yes, because we are seeing even when I, I I do support any child and I know I'm feeding that child. No, na malipesa angu inaenda. Unlike vile tunambiwango what we discussed earlier about tax, we don't see where the money goes. So I will feel I will feel like I'm attached. It's actually sentimental when I can see where my philanthropy is going and how it is acting. I can actually we feel uh, that's how Kenyans feel like what we have said Kenyans for Kenya. We yeah. feel as being part of it. We don't want to see our fellow Kenyans suffer, and that is why we come out. And that is mm. why more people are coming <coughs> to support this brainchild, yeah, mm. of, of of the governor. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and he, and he, and he actually explained and said uh, his ch- his chief officer has actually made it very clear to his whole team mm-hmm. that he's taking this very seriously. So we hope it lasts. We pray it lasts. Yeah. Yeah, Jonah. Yeah. Uh, I believe it. Uh, it uh, the fact that you saw the president there yeah. means that uh, then the whatever critics and whatever noise that people are putting, yeah. then there is a, a very big uh, wall to hit. So, so so really <laughs> yeah, I, I really yeah. hope that the, the Mona Inchi definitely is with this yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and talking about Mona Inchi uh, yeah. even people like uh, Wamushomba us as free Kenya we are out there collecting signatures to deal okay. with the question of taxes and to support people like Wamushomba okay because the reality of the fact okay. in this country Kenyans must come out that's okay Bef- be- be- before you go on there let's cross the borders a bit into Somalia let's cool down the temperature <laughs> let's cross into somalia um i mean some coming out of somalia yeah yes. the, the, yes. the, the so issue far, yeah the issue is that uh, they had an uh, an agreement that uh, at this uh, about uh, this time they should now hand over to the somali yeah. right. somali national uh, army yeah uh, yes. and the reality is that uh, they've trained them yeah. and uh, it's expected that now they can take up roles and so they are moving at least this was 2000 uh, troops leaving 
right. and then another 3000 will leave in about 3 months i think in september or something yeah. like that they yeah. about so that they allow the somalis now to have their own country mm-hmm. and to deal with their questions yeah because you are not going to occupy a place for a long time jona yeah even though I, I i i had a very uh, emotional speech from the somali leader yeah it it's, it's, very, it's, very it's good that they as feel he was seeing them all yeah it this feels that now they 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 can they can work for their country right. uh, and let's hope that uh, we don't revert back to going there again yeah. uh, because you see uh, we believe that somalia will now be able to take care of itself yeah. so that we can move on as a, as 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 a, as a continent you know yeah, it, this Jonah, issue is god god yeah, and this is a positive because uh, right. this is a transitioning <laughs> it's like having a child who has grown up and then now mm. they can work on their own you will now let them take their baby steps as they grow that is why uh, uh, when you hear him saying 2000 troops are coming out right. then 3000 will come out after maybe 3 months that means it shows that uh, the amazon amazon have, has done a good job yeah, and also yeah, somali definitely. have grown and it has been supported by its neighboring country and now we are happy that the east african community Yeah there is unity and all that we won't be getting like fights fires guns blazing all that mm. so it's a child that is growing well and but, but, but it is a positive mm. yeah there, there's there's a looming issue here mm-hmm. the huge influx of refugees mm-hmm. there are still many somalis crossing the border this time because of famine they are cl- crossing because of climatic reasons and uh, if you look at the dadab refugee camp mm-hmm. still a lot of you know um, divisions in fact uh, there is a particular camp that uh, has had to be reopened mm-hmm. because again mm-hmm. there has been an inf- influx of um, of refugees this so has been one major issue yeah so Jonah, when we talk about drought eh, with the climate change and all that i think you will agree with me when it comes to a natural calamity that mm. is uh, unavoidable and uh, all that right well we we won't chase them away per se uh, if they come for help for food for water for they are our neighbors but uh, i think it will be handled yeah uh, right. we have the un working there and uh, yeah. other other whatever uh, that come in handy when such things happen and yeah. i think it as much as it is a big thing i think it will be handled and uh, everything yeah. will go back to normal yeah actually it's like yeah. the number of refugees has gone up mm. uh, so know. that's one of the problems so uh, you, you you nicolas uh, you remember the issue of um, 1600 plus refugees in kitale at the showground uh, i entered kitale town when these people were being transported from kitale being brought to kakuma and it hit me because you can't imagine these people were even pouring into kitale town begging and doing all that and even in the case with dada sometimes they would um, you know get into the communities uh, steal cattle and mm-hmm. you know there's something you're saying nicola yeah the the, yeah. the 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 issue about refugees kenya has hosted a lot of refugees in this country right. the numbers are high uh, kenya is facing a lot of uh, strain because of refugees but then uh, it's okay that uh, we have to help our neighbors uh, but the question of uh, climate change now that becomes a really hard issue to deal with because right. it's also affecting us here uh, and and there's need for african countries to sit down and deal with this question i have i've felt that uh, we have underperformed in pursuing uh, justice uh, climate justice in this in, in this in this plan, planet because uh, our leaders don't seem to use this very well to a mm. point where they can uh, uh, attest to pursue certain uh, needs that we need to get because uh, africa is suffering the brunt we are not really doing the production uh, it's being done elsewhere china and, and, and the us and other and europe and, and so the reality is that uh, africans need to sit and agree how to deal with the question of climate change and to ensure that we can uh, basically become what is called the the lungs of the of of, of the planet mm. uh, and ensure that that is also paid for by the people who are really causing this uh, these problems yeah. uh, i think africa needs to really take a stamp its authority on some of these things 
because you are facing this branch. Where did we have this climate meeting the other day? And uh, uh, the president, the, the, the last one was in yes, Egypt. And uh, the president Ruto spoke about that matter. He actually said Africans um, don't do much in polluting, yet they bear the biggest brand. You, you know, Jonah, I would, I would, I would request that uh, that African governments move from uh, lamentations and complain to giving deals and saying that we are going to do this and you do this. For instance, Jonah, right. uh, if, uh, and I'm not a climate expert, uh, mm. but I'm just going to look at it from a layman's perspective. Right. Uh, if you look at Africa, uh, there is a potential of solar power in Africa, serious potential. Mm -hmm. So if Africa were to agree with the rest of the world and say that those industries that you are you're doing there, give us ownership in those industries, let us supply you with solar so that you don't use coal in your areas. We are going to supply you with solar. We are going to use very high uh, cable capacity, ca ca high capacity cables right. so that they take solar to you and we manufacture solar from here because a lot of our land in Africa is basically covered by the Sahara. That is where we can basically generate enough solar and take it mm. to the rest of the world. So right. really, I think that African leadership needs to stop this argument of uh, always crying and crying and crying. Come and put a deal on the table and tell them if you don't want that, eh, then this is what it means. I, I think that is where now Africa needs to stamp its authority. I don't know if that is a possibility. Uh, I <laughs> hope climate experts are going to come and tell us. Yes. But those are some of the things I feel that when you go to a, to, to a discussion like that, mm. go with the solutions. Go with something that you can say that we are giving this, you do this. Because we are going to continue to suffer this brand yeah. uh, and it is going to continue this way and uh, the other people are not going to care because for them they'll, they have technology which they can always find their way yeah. around. And I think the president was right because his country is facing refugee problem yeah. out of a climate issue yeah, because it, now it's so unsustainable. Do, do you know what it takes to keep a refugee family? You have to give them land. You know we are talking of Tens of thousands, hundreds. Yeah. Then you have to give a family. Okay. <coughs> the policy is a, every family lives under a tent. Yeah, it can't yeah. be uh, a structure. Permanent it's yeah. a permanent structure. It's not a permanent structure. It's a tent. Yes. But it's a tent that looks almost as a permanent structure. Yes. But at least you have to give sanitation facilities. Yeah. That costs money. You have yeah. to ensure there's water. Mm. You have to ensure that within that camp there is security. Yes. Because if these people are not fed... Mm. And they're not secure. What will they do? They'll flow and there's, into the and there's a problem of sanitation and there's a problem of uh, diseases, diseases and those mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. And you remember COVID came and all those stuff. Yes. Really, it's not a joke to deal with these questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and really, I think Africa must mm -hmm. take the, the, the lead in some of these things. And also, John, not right. forgetting that uh, the influx of refugees... Eh? Right. W will bring also will bring about also insecurity in our country. For example, we could be having people coming from Somali. Yeah. Uh, we could be having people coming from Ethiopia. The bandits come along with them to steal whatever is is right. here. The Al Shabaab might come in as Somali refugees, and uh, it's also like the government has a lot on its plate when it comes to refugees. Yeah. If we look at it <coughs> from other different angles, so yes, we are straining also as a country, as much as we are giving. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. We have to come to a stop. We have to finish this. Viewers, we encourage you to give your views. Um, Nicholas, just a quick one, just before we go. Kasese, uh, ADF attacking from Congo. So many children taken from Uganda. Uh, it's it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that uh, children in school are taken uh, and, and 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 basically some are killed. I think yeah. about forty something died in that in that attack. Right. Uh, we don't understand why Africa always faces these things. That's okay. Uh, and really, we hope that uh, security is going to be restored here. Liz, yeah. final word. <laughs> I gave him a final <laughs> word. I dictated his final word. Final word, very fast. Uh, one minute. One minute. Uh, yes. Jonah, I want to give a final word by telling Kenyans today. Uh, let's not be gullible. Let's read that finance bill as much as it is written in so many words to yes. confuse us. The 160 well pages yes. we saw me. As to yes. Well said. Viewers, you've been watching Politics Today on Science TV. My name is Jonas Simba. See you next week. Bye.